Hi there, Henry Smith here from IamWealthyEnrich.com, where we talk about how to understand the game of money and play it well. Uh, welcome to today's recording. Uh, thanks for joining me. My name is Henry Smith. Um, before I continue, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. And I'll also understand that I'm not a financial advisor or financial planner, so don't um, do your own due diligence before you make any financial decisions. You also understand that all investing can be risky. You do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. So with that said, uh, what I'm going to talk about today is just, just look at the state of the market. Um, let's share the screen here. Share the screen am I? Share the screen first. Okay, so Bitcoin is holding at uh, 20,000, 20,066. Um, bouncing around this white line here which was the previous all-time high of 2017, a previous all-time high of 2017. So it's holding it roughly at support. Looking more into the market, there's still a lot of extreme fear in the market, as you well, may well know. Fear is now a 12 in the single digit, double digit figures. So fear is now around 12. Um, but some important things, you know, people are taking advantage of the fear. There are some changes happening. For example, uh, Coinbase is shutting down Coinbase Pro, and merging it with its advanced trading service, which is uh, going to be a good thing because they used to have basically two separate platforms. And now they're, they're going to be merging it with um, something called advanced trade. Uh, that will be happening over the next several months. So for those of you that trade with Coinbase Pro, you know, there's going to be a gradual mi uh, migration over the next uh, few months to put, put, uh, advanced trading. But this is what one uh, article I thought I, I thought was very interesting. All-time investors achieve one BTC dream as Bitcoin holds 20k range. And you know, if you're, you're aware that um, way back in 2017. 2017, 2016, you know, when Bitcoin was a thousand dollars, it was easier to acquire Bitcoin, a whole Bitcoin, you know. But when Bitcoin, you know, even when it was three thousand dollars, but when it went shot up to twenty thousand dollars, it became very difficult for small time investors to acquire a Bitcoin. And then when it shut up, you know, the last bull run to 30, 40, 50, 60,000, 65,000, it became even more difficult for small time investors to be able to accumulate one whole Bitcoin. So, but now that, you know, people appreciate something when, when they see how much it's gone. I remember when it went to, to uh, 50,000, people thought Bitcoin is now 50,000. How is anyone going to get a one Bitcoin? But um, because it's gone down to 60, uh, to, to 20,000, to 20,000 range, more people are thinking that, you know, it's a good idea to get hold of it. They're taking advantage of the sale. They're taking it, they're looking at it as if it's a discount. So the, the more people are, are buying a, a Bitcoin and being able to, be able to say that, you know, they, they hold one Bitcoin because with the scarcity of Bitcoin in the future, very few people will have one BTC. There's not enough to go around. Even all the millionaires in the world, once they realize, they haven't realized yet, once they realize, Every millionaire will want to get their hands on BTC and there won't be enough to go around because right now there are about 50, uh, I think 56 million millionaires or something like that. So there's not even enough for each one to get one because, you know, many millionaires and billionaires even have thousands, tens of thousands of Bitcoin. So there's no way they could, ever, you know, all millionaires will ever be able to get one. There are some millionaires that will never be able to get a whole Bitcoin. How much more to talk of the average small time investor. So by taking advantage now, um, this is the time. You know, this is the time to take advantage while it's still in the 20K range, you know, 20, 25K, 30K even. It's a bargain because once we get to the next bull run, which is, you know, we're, we're just ending this cycle now in the next six months or so. And I'll talk about um, that in maybe other videos this week. 
So when we get into the next bull run, you won't see these prices again. You won't see these prices again. And the bull run of 2025 is what I'm talking about. When we hit that peak, it's going to come crashing down, but not to this kind of price. So this is why, um, you know, if small time investors that understand this are clamoring to try and get hold of at least one Bitcoin. And now it's, it's come within the range that they can, you know, afford. So it's quite interesting and great to see that small time investors are taking advantage of getting uh, their first whole Bitcoin, Bitcoiners. And uh, so the number of addresses, wallet addresses that have one Bitcoin in them or more is, is rising. Okay. But um, I just want to talk about the state of the market today. So people are gravitating towards it despite the, despite the, uh, the fear. They're seeing this extreme fear as an opportunity. Okay. It's an opportunity. And that's how, you know, those, these are the kind of people who are going to be very successful in the next bull run. Because they're seizing the opportunity when other people, most people are with extreme fear. This is, they, should, they could rewrite this as called extreme opportunity, you know, but uh, never mind. Uh, if you like the content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also, um, visit our website at uh, imworkingrich.com. If you know what's spelled, imworkingrich.com. Um, we're talking about how to understand the game of money, play it well. And, um, Go down and uh, fill in the short form get your millionaire mindset and investment strategy free. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.